Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, April 28th. In our devotion for today, I want to continue with what we talked about last Friday. When we talked and examined about our commitment to God. You see, God is fully committed to us. And if our theme is we want to be transformed, the question we have is if God is all in and the goal is for us to change who we are, to be transformed into the people God originally created us to be, how committed are we to this process? Being committed to this process is difficult because there's so many things that tug at our hearts and our priorities and our minds. There's so many things that we are devoted to and too often we make God just a a secondary or a tertiary commitment that we have. Something that lines or stacks up with all the other things that we do instead of making God and this process a priority. One of the ways that we do that is by becoming fully committed is by realizing that we have to put God above all else and well probably one of the first steps about this and the most difficult one is saying okay god i am be more concerned about pleasing you than pleasing other people because that's a huge step too often we are trying to please others and uh, meet expectations of other people um, and because they are crying or they're demanding or they're in our ears or in our face um, and they're more abrasive uh, demands than gods are uh, we tend to sideline or push this to the side god's um, expectations uh, or uh, God's desire for us to be fully committed to this process of transformation. There's a story and it's about a man, a donkey, and a young boy. A man is walking down the road and he's got his belongings on the donkey and he and his son are walking next to it. Uh, some people come by and they say, why are you both walking? Why don't you uh, ride on the donkey? Um, wouldn't that be better? So the man said, okay. So he gets up on the donkey and then pretty soon some more people, and he starts to ride the donkey. Pretty soon uh, another group of people come by and they criticize him and say, why are you riding the donkey while the young boy walks? That's ridiculous. So the man gets down and he puts his son up on the donkey and then he rides the donkey. In a little while, some more people come and they criticize him and they say, oh, young man, why are you riding and not letting the elderly man uh, be on the donkey. And so the old man, exasperated, says, okay, this is what I'm going to do. We'll both ride the donkey. So he he, he gets up on the donkey, then puts his his young son in his lap, and they got all their possessions with them, and they continue on their journey. In a little while, some more people come, and they criticize him. They say, don't you care about that donkey? Look what kind of condition he is in. You are more capable of carrying that donkey than he is of carrying you. And so the man gets down, he gets his son down, and they tie the donkey to a long wooden pole, and they lift the donkey, and they start carrying the donkey. Well, they come to a river, and the donkey gets spooked and starts to squirm, and they drop the donkey, and the donkey falls into the river. Now the man, having been criticized and trying to please everybody, doesn't have anything, including a donkey. This is what happens often. When we try to please others, or we put pleasing others as uh, a a central part of the focus of our lives, because we can never please people well enough. Commitment is all about being willing to make sacrifices. And if we are being committed to God, then one of the things we might have to sacrifice is the desire to please other people. Commitment involves making a choice about where we're going to believe, about what we're going to believe, and who we're going to serve. It means carefully thinking it all through and counting the cost of our decision in order to make it fully and completely. It's often said that no man can serve two masters. That's a biblical truth located in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. For you will hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. As we live in this world today, we must ask ourselves, whom do I serve? Who is master of my life? We can quickly answer when we take a look at where we spend most of our time and energy. Often it's not an easy decision because we may feel as if we are in the middle of a balancing act between other people's expectations of us, our expectations of ourselves, and what we believe God expects of us. But an awesome thing happens when we learn to put God first. God helps us balance out all the rest. When we spend time with God and get to know God's ways, we can more clearly distinguish between things that are truly important and lasting and things that are not. We become accustomed to God's reality and it's more easily, and, it more, and God's reality more easily becomes our own. Everything will not be easy once you decide to fully commit to God. 
That's not the way it works. We're promised in Psalm 34, 17, that the Lord will deliver us from our, all our troubles. When you don't notice about that verse, is that when it says that God will deliver us from all our troubles, it guarantees us that we're going to have troubles for God to deliver us from. Just remember, when the ground we stand on is one of faith and commitment to God, we can be assured that God's plan for our lives, a solution for our problems, and a hope for future. Amen. Amen. Let's take time to pray right now and ask God to help us in our commitment to God's plan to transform who we are. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for your commitment to us. Help us be equally committed to you and to this plan of transformation, of changing and transforming us into the people we were created to be. Help guide us, Lord. Help us to hear you and be led by you and help us to be fully committed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is Wednesday tonight. We do have a prayer meeting at 7 o'clock. Uh, I do want to encourage you to be there. It's on Facebook. Uh, feel free to send me your prayer requests or just come and put your prayer requests in uh, the uh, the chat uh, for Facebook uh, uh, in the comment section, and I will endeavor to pray for you and for your loved ones. Uh, I enjoy doing that. So take care and see you soon.